Hello boys and girls, Pov Life here, and today I just want to make this video just to clear things up. Now, um, I've recently have found out, um, you know, that I've been receiving quite a bit of hate on particularly two videos. Actually, a lot of my videos, I've been getting a lot of dislikes and stuff like that on the videos. Obviously, there are, you know, still a lot of likes on the videos, which I do appreciate um, you guys leaving, and I know that there are a lot of people who actually do enjoy my content. But obviously, I've noticing a trend of a lot of people who are disliking my videos and are not really liking what I put up. Um, I don't know if this is just because of me as a personal level, or maybe you just don't like me as a person, or you just have a problem with how I you know, make my content, but this is why I'm this is what I'm going to be addressing today. Um, especially on this video, which was the getting my pulleys installed video um, that I uploaded. Um, I think it was maybe I think like last week. I think um, that that actually got a lot of hate. Um, I'm not going to lie, a lot of dislikes on it. Um, and I only re recently realized the dislikes and the comments on it, maybe like a day or two ago, um, because I didn't I didn't really log on because I was very busy, as I said before. Um, now, I just want to put this out there. I'm not an automotive expert or a car expert. I don't know. I'm not a walking encyclopedia. I don't know every car off by heart like that. You know, I'm still... I, I'm interested in cars. I'm very interested in cars, but, you know, I don't know everything. And sometimes I might know, I might not know the a particular car model, a make, and you know I might need a bit of help because it's all a learning process for me. The reason why I made this YouTube channel was as a learning process, just to take you guys on a journey with me on how in learning how cars work, the ins and out of it. Now, um, so yeah, I was so I, I went on the I went on the video and I saw there was a lot of dislikes left on the video and I was like oh okay wow that's that's a bit odd because you know I know that um I'm, I do expect dislikes obviously you know you can't have a clean record of just zero dislikes throughout your whole videos but I, I I was reading my analytics and I realized that there was a lot of dislikes being put onto a lot of my videos and. Um, I don't know why that is. Maybe people are offended by how I make my content. I really don't know. Um, maybe it's the way I make my me on a personal level. People just do not like me. I I really I'm I'm a bit puzzled. Um, but obviously you know there are a lot of people who still like my stuff. There's a lot of co likes. Um, obviously left my videos and I do appreciate that you know that just shows me that there are a lot of people out there who really do like my stuff and I appreciate that. Now, um, one particular comment left by a viewer called Lucas Ryan's vlog. Um, he was he commented on my video, the pulley video, which um, I think got a lot of hate. I think it, it really kind of did. So this is what he this is what he said. Pov life. You're such a ricer. You can't even manage to notice a Liberty RS Turbo, yet you upload videos of my of your friend's WRX! Exclamation mark. What is even worse is that you cannot tell the difference between an R32 or R33. You barely know a thing, a thing, car, a thing about cars. I think he screwed that up. Or your way around the car. This is hilarious. I have to share this embarrassment to the automotive forums slash community. Um, well, first things first, thanks for commenting, Lucas. Um, I really do appreciate your time and effort that you took out of your day to comment this. Um, as you know, I do appreciate it. Now, first thing, uh, the second thing, um, as I said before, I'm not an automotive expert or a car expert at all. You know, um, the reason why I said that in the video is because I genuinely did not know what I was looking at. And I didn't want to say something that could have been incorrect. And it would have made me look more of an idiot by just saying, oh yeah, this is a da 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 and completely incorrect. And then, you know, it makes you look like a stupid person. So I just said, I did the sensible thing by saying, you know, I'm not sure about this. You guys can tell me. Which one of my friends did. Original Tesla, he's a, um, one of my good friends. He, he did that. He mentioned in the comments, oh, hey, you know, this, the Subarus you're looking at was an RS Turbo and the Scania was R33. And I was like, thank you, thank you, Tesla. You know, I really appreciate that. You know, that's good. And then this guy comes along and then, you know, pretty much 
puts all this down. And when I first read this, I was like, wow. Like, this guy hates me. <laughs> like, this is, this is, wow. This is ridiculous. Like, wow. Like, I was, I was a bit, like, shocked when I first read this. I was like, this guy really dislikes me. Um, <laughs> and just the way I, I, I guess, operate the channel, maybe. So, um, and he's even gone to a limb and said that I was an embarrassment to the automotive forum slash community. Like, wow. Like, holy crap. That That is, that is a pretty strong, um, kind of statement that you're making right there now obviously i mean i guess i might be i, I don't know if i am i maybe i am an um uh, an embarrassment to um, the forum slash community if i just don't know these things but as i said before i'm this is a learning process for me and you know obviously you know with me being a honda owner i mean i do know hondas a lot more better so i could probably if it was a like i'm not saying this is an excuse but if it was a Honda, I, you know, I've done a lot more research on Hondas and things like that. So I kind of know my ways and in, ins out of Hondas. But, um, you know, Subarus, I'm a bit new to. Of I, I don't really, you know, know it 100%. But, so, you know, I'm still trying to learn. And, you know, with you, um, with my friend Josh, you know, he's he has a beautiful car, as I've said before. And, you know, he's actually racked, his car's racked up the most views on my channel. And I, I agree on that. You know, it, it really, it has, you know, and I appreciate, you know, me and my friend Josh, we're very close. We, we're really good friends. And, you know, he, he, I asked him, hey, Josh, you want to make a video about your car? And he's like, yeah, sure, fine. You know, I never said, I'm not taking away credit from Josh. He's, you know, he has the most view, viewed and liked video on my whole channel, which is, you know, I appreciate it. I, I thank him, you know, every time I say it, like, hey, Josh, man, you know, we've reached this one, we reached this. I never say to him, oh, you know, my video of your car has reached this, this, is that. You know, it's always like a co-op kind of joint effort onto that video or the, on all of his um, videos. And, you know, I don't really take, I mean, obviously I film the videos, but it's his car. So it's like we both take credit in kind of, if you know what I'm trying to say. And that's, that's, that's really thing. Now, I know maybe it's, could be a thing maybe with my car. I know, like, I never said my car was a fast car or a performance car. It's just a more of a reliable daily driver for myself. Like, I don't really take this seriously. You know, I, I just drive it. I modify things. And, you know, just to make the car a bit more personalized, in my opinion. And, you know, yeah, I, I mean... I guess if people, I mean, obviously people are granted their own opinion. If they think I'm a ricer because of how I make my videos and my, I guess, my, not really, I, I won't say lack of knowledge, but I guess my unawareness of other kind of car makes and models. Like, I am generally interested in these cars, but I mean, I'm not going to just go to a car and just know it like that, you know, I'm, st it's, I'm still learning. So, yeah, I mean... Obviously, I understand this is just a person who's, I guess, hates my videos and probably hates me as a person for, I don't know why he, he hates me, but I mean, I, I do appreciate your comment, um, Ryan. I really do. Um, or Lucas Ryan or however you say your name. You know, maybe to you, I am an embarrassment to the automotive community, but I guess if I'm an embarrassment to the automotive community, there's, I guess, a lot of people that embarrassment to the automotive community because if i'm considered a riser to you there's got to be a lot of people there's i can tell you there's a lot of people out there who i guess are worse in that aspect than me um so if i'm considered a riser well then shit i guess i'm considered a riser to you ryan so whatever but um anyways yeah so i have responded to the comment and i did say you know like i tried to explain it to him and you know i think he sh should understand where i'm coming from but yeah i understand that i'm never gonna really you know i'm going into i made a channel a car youtube channel where i knew that the car community these days is very judgmental you know it's not a place where you can just go in and everyone's gonna like just be like oh yeah nice you got this this that the car community is a very judgmental place and i know that so i already knew me coming in even before i made this channel that i was going to get some hate i was going to get some hate for the car i drive how i explained the car I drive the modifications i did and just the way i presented myself on the channel and i knew that but 
yeah, I mean, that's just what I wanted to make this video about today. I just wanted to clarify things with you guys before you continue, I guess, trying to take me out of context. You know, I just wanted to make sure that you guys knew where I come from and, you know, what it is when I do make my videos. And if I do have a lack of knowledge of a particular car model, it's like I'm trying to insult the just the insult the car community. It's me just generally not knowing and you know me wanting to learn what that is. So, but now for sure, now I know that's R33 and a Liberty, a Liberty RS Turbo. I will definitely not forget that now since I've gotten a lot of backlash from that. But yeah, that's what I want to make the video about today, guys. Um, obviously, you know, I understand that. Even after this video, there's probably going to be still the people who hate on my videos. And there's still going to be a lot of people who still enjoy my videos. And continue to subscribe to me. And I just know that's just the general thing when it comes to YouTubing. And especially YouTubing in a genre such as this. The autos and vehicles genre of YouTube. Where the car community is so... I guess in some aspects it could be unwelcoming to a lot of new people. And you know... Obviously, to me, I'm not going to lose sleep over it. You know, I understand these things. But, you know, for a lot of people, it might be a confronting thing for them. You know, where people are just so judgmental of people's abilities and skills and things like that. And the car they drive. Now, um, yeah, that's all I want to make the video about today, guys. I'm going to stop rambling on. Um, this is no way a rant on this, you this viewer of mine. Um, this is just me kind of trying to explain where I'm coming from and kind of just, I guess, clarify things. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like, share, comment, and subscribe as usual. Power of out. Peace.